Okay, let's keep on reading the RT uh, after after that brief brief pondering of cultural appropriation. Um, not even that. There's like a thousand more things to say about that. Um, uh, yeah, but I'm I'm just gonna keep translating this prayer because I think ultimately. Um, the way to not be appropriative in your use of media is to understand it and understand its entire context. Um, so that's what I'm trying to do here. And I might not be doing the best job, but I'm trying. So, anyway, next line. Um, Jaya Jayarati Venu Gopala. Venu Gopala Venuola Papa Vidura Navanita Chora. So, wave the light of victory to Venu Gopala. Gopala is baby form of Krishna. Right, Krishna is the blue skin god, he plays the flute, right? Gopala is baby, baby Krishna, um, who longs for his flute. He is the remover of sins and was the thief of butter when he was a child. That's Papa Vidura Navanita Chora, remover of sins and thief of butter. <laughs> what epithets? So, the story of why Krishna, or Gopala, is the, the thief of butter is um, that, well, when Gopala was an infant, he uh, was in his mother's kitchen, right? He was in his mother's kitchen, and uh, mischievous little boy that he was, he saw this big, this big pot on the counter, on the table, right? The pot looked looked something like this. Um, this pot here. Uh, this is from from Maria Gimbutas's The Language of the Goddess. So this is a a Romanian pot, uh, Macedonian. It's a seven thousand year old Macedonian pot, right? So, Krishna, he was he was in India like, like maybe, three thousand years ago, thirty five hundred years ago. So, but anyway, there were pots that held food for much longer than Krishna has been alive, and um, those pots were were representations of the goddess. You can see here um, that there's these eyes, and then this bird beak, and then this huge rotund bearer of cream. Right? This pot is full of cream, this, this symbol of feminine fertility. And um, so this little Gopala baby, he crawls up onto the table and pushes the whole pot of cream over. Right? Just pushes it to the ground. And, uh, you know, the thick, buttery cream, it just spills everywhere, all over the ground. And, and he climbs down and, and just, just like, eats, eats all of it. Oh, it's so good. And he's just like little, fat, plump little baby. Oh, he's so cute. And he's eating all this cream. And, and then his mother comes in and she's like, Gopala, what have you done? What have you done? That, that was like, that was like a, a month's worth of, of cow milk butter. And like that, that was, that would, how we're not gonna have anything to eat now. We're gonna starve to death because you just just consumed our entire ration of cream and we can't go to the supermarket to get any more cream because it's three and a half thousand years ago and supermarkets didn't exist. All we have is this cow who can only produce this much milk a day. What are you doing? But of course he's an infant baby and he has no idea what he's doing and he doesn't care because you know he's just drunk the the, the water of life and, and has become the embodiment of all of the cosmos. And um... And <laughs> so, you know, his, his mother, in, in like this, this fit of desperation, she, she wants the cream back. And so um, she, she opens up his mouth, right, to, to try to reach and, and, and pull the cream out of him. Um, by the way, this story may be completely inaccurate. There's like 1,700 different versions of this story. So this is the one that I'm making up out of my brain right now. And it's based on some other story, but like it, it's probably going to be off in the details. But anyway... Um, she opens up his mouth to fetch the cream out, and what she sees is the void, this vast nothingness. And then she looks closer, and she realizes that, no, no, it's not void. There's, there's pricks of light, and there's stars, and, and galaxies, and nebulae, and the whole cosmos is hiding inside the mouth of this baby god. That was the cream that he consumed. So that's Krishna, Gopala, who longs for his flute, the remover of sins, and the thief of butter.